Good morning. Happy Easter. So I'm not really expecting too many people to be on because of the time change, but um, I couldn't be helped. I now have a lot of visitors coming, so I'll be cooking up a storm tomorrow. So uh, I thought I'd do it today. It can always be watched on catch up, so it's no bother at all. So we've got a few on, so um, I'll, I'll crack on. So this is the project that I wanted to show you how to make today. Um, I'm just going to turn my eye off. It's a bit warm in here now. It's nippy when I first got in. So this is the project. Looks like a little handbag. Um, and then you just remove the slide, the belly band as such, and you have yourself a double photo frame. I hope you can see that. Um, we've managed to get the landscape bit sorted thanks to Philippa so this is how it ends up and we have two pull outs one either side that you can pull out and pop your photographs on oh, as, as usual Tracy stuck that one down hey ho yes yeah, so you can pull them out and put your photos on and then you put the belly band on and this can be adapted in a few ways. You don't have to do it in exactly the right way as I've done it here and I'll talk them through as we go through it. But it's very easy to do. Very, very easy. So good morning, Jill. Morning, Vanessa. Morning, Pat. Hope you're having a lovely Easter holiday so far. So we shall start. Now, I have used A3 black card. Hi, Dawn. Um, I've used A3 and I'm, I'm aware that you probably don't have, not everybody has a A3 card. So I shall talk you through being able to do it from an A4. I just happened to have A3 and used it. So the this piece is 13 and a half by 8 inches, okay? So if you didn't have um, A3 card... This particular piece here measures three and a half inches. So if you cut that at four and a half inches that, and scored it at one inch, that would give you a tab. So you would be able to join that on there. So this piece then would be um, 10 by 8, which you can get from an A4 piece. Okay, so that's for one part of it. 13 and a half by 8 inches. And the other part of it to make the actual body of the bag. Uh, photo frame is eight by nine inches okay so you bring in your scoreboard and we'll start with the eight by nine inch one I'll just make sure I'm in shot so put it on your scoreboard with the nine inches across the top and score it down at one inch okay and then bone fold it in and give that a good burnish and then with the 13 and a half inch one, you pop that on and you score it at three and a half. Okay, now obviously when you're scoring this, your scoreboard isn't long enough. Unless, so fold that three and a half over, pop it back on and score it at eight inches and nine inches. Okay. So once you've got them scores in, get your bone fold out, give it a good burnish. So you want one forwards and one backwards. And then effectively what we're going to do is join this piece on. So you can either join it right there or you can pop it behind the fold and join it there. And, and I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pop it behind the fold because I just think it looks neater. So glue right up to the edge. Right the way round. And then line it up against that fold, fold that one over and then remove any of the glue that you've put too far down. There you go. Now while that's drying, Press it down, give it a good squash down. Hiya Joe, hiya Cynthia, hiya Susan, thanks for joining me. That then 
becomes the body of your bag okay so while that's drying we'll get on with the rest of it <clears throat> so we need to do some panels to put on here now you don't have to put this yellow um layer on if you don't want to you can go straight on with your with whatever decorative areas you're putting on but i need to do some panels now for that what we have is i'm only going to show you one because obviously you don't want to see me stamping for i've got a piece of yellow card that's going to fit on that side that side that side and that side okay so on this one measures just slightly smaller than this area so I've took it down I think by a quarter of an inch so this measures eight inches this area so this measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters so they those four panels are going to get put onto there okay so we need four of those so we'll get craft on with that and then what we also need is four white panels which we're going to do some stamping on to sit on top of here okay and these are going to have the decorative bits on and for that i've chosen uh peter poffalo's new sunflower hi tracy so i'm going to bring in my stamping platform and this one I'm doing right now, I've done some of the stamping on it, as you can see. I don't want to keep it all day because there's other stamping to do. And I'm aware it's Easter and you've got stuff to do. Because we're going to put the actual finished article on there, we don't need to do stamping all over it. We just need to do stamping in, you know, various areas, just so you can see it around the outside. I mean, if you want to, by all means, because this is the inside piece that that's going on, you don't have to. But if you want to, by all means, do so, you know, put them where you want. I'll put one here, a little bit of one. So I'm just kind of doing the edges around it. Hi, Gloria. So that's the bit I want to ink up on here, this bit here. So light taps. I've got a piece of card underneath to catch anything so I don't stamp onto my sponge. And... I'm just going to pop a little, no, I'll leave that like that, that would be fine, I think. You get the gist, don't you guys? Let's see if I can move it down and put it in. No. So I'll just leave it like that, it'll be fine. So that's one panel. Now, like I said, this is for the inside part. Um, so you don't really need to go too crazy with the, with the stamping. But on the outside parts of the panels, you, you're going to see the whole area, so... What you want to do is stamp all over that one and you'll see them now. I'm just going to glue this together, get these panels ready to put on. See, it's not a very difficult one to do. Um, a lot of stamping, I'll agree. But it's not too difficult. So that's going on to that one. So that's an inside panel because it's got it only around the outside. That one is also an inside panel. But these two are from the outside, so I've stamped all over in those. Now, I've left them black and white. I, I quite like that, that they were black and white, you know. Um, but I suppose you could change it up by colouring them all. Sit and colour them all up before you put them on. So I'm going to put them on now. And uh, then we can carry on with all the other panels. So, inside panel going on this card i'm not sure where i got it this yellow one but it, it adds a different color on the other side as well so pop that one on with a little border make sure it's straight my hands are cold so on with that one press it down and i got as i said i got these ahead of time just so a i didn't keep you and um be so that they'd all dry and I didn't get smudgy fingerprints on. But I did manage to get one on this one, which wasn't very good. So again, pop it on. Check the border around it. And then you can turn it over and put the outside panels on. 
as you can see, I've cut a circle out of this one. I was running short of yellow card and I didn't have enough. So I had to pop a circle out of it for, for the front panel, you know, for something I need on here later. So again, front panel on. And then one on this side as well. Oh, that's fun. Oh, what a good start. Obviously didn't put enough glue on or press down hard enough. There we go. Looks like it's going to be one of those lives. <laughs> there we are. Just to make sure. And then this one's going on here. There we go. It's a really, really nice little project to make this. Nice gift. I mean, and you can do it out of grey board as well, I guess, um, which would make it a little bit more substantial. You don't have to put the flap on it. There's lots of ways you can change it. You didn't have to put this flap on, in which case it would be, you know, just a double frame. You could put ties on it with ribbon. Hi, Jan. You could do all of those things just to change it up to make it your own. Change the stamp that you've used on it. So now we're going to do the panel that goes onto this bit here, front and back. So for that I have cut, um, again, some sections here and here. Now this part of the, the bag here, it measures 8 inches by 3.5 inches. So all I've done is cut the panels down a little. So the yellow panel was uh, 3 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3 quarters. And the white panel was slightly down again. So it was 3.5 by 7.5. So you've got the border all the way around. Okay. Now up to you whether you want to do any stamping on this one. I think I'm going to put... I don't know what I put on this one. I can't remember. It was that long ago. Hi, Lynn. I put one on there. So that's what I'll do this time. I'll put one on these two. And then you will be able to uh, see. Oh, again, like I said, it's up to you. You don't have to put any on. See how to do that one. I'm only putting one on it. So let's see where we need to go. Lift that up. Pop it on. Just want to stamp onto this one. There we go. So give this a little wipe so I don't drop it and get it everywhere. And you're gonna more or less put it in the middle. Just fit on there nicely. So pick that up. And ink it up, gentle taps, you don't have to press too hard, sometimes the middle needs a little more because it's got lots of detail on it. Just press it down. You can always go in again if you're using a stamp platform. There we are, one on there. And then we've got the other one. here just kind of make sure it's in the right place easiest thing to do really instead of messing about is just to wipe it and move the stamp there we go so pop that again in the middle ish don't have to be precise there we are Gentle taps, put a little bit more in the middle to catch all that detail. And hope that you've got it in the right place. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So I'll just give that one a wipe because I'm going to need it again for other bits in a minute. Right, so now we can put these panels on. So also what I've done with it is at the edge here, I've used a corner rounder. And I've rounded the yellow one and the white one just to give it a nice finish and I've also rounded the edge of this black bag body as well so let's see let's put these on 
Is there any questions so far? It's fairly easy to do. I'm just checking on the computer to see if there's any questions. No, no, not yet. Not yet, not yet. Good. So, here we are. Bit of glue. And pop it on. Oh dear. I don't know what I've done there, but I've managed to keep it too long. Let's trim some more. See, this is what happens when you prep too far in the head. So it should be two and three quarters, I guess. Yeah. Easy done, isn't it? Three and a half that measures, so I want it at three and a quarter. There we go. Does that mean that this one is now too big? Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness me. What a great life so far, guys. There we are. Front flap on. So we now do some trimming on this as well. This is what you get for thinking that you're great doing it all in one go. Two and a quarter. What we want is for it to fit on there and we'll have to re-stamp it that's what you get there we are you've seen me stamp it once so i'm going to put it on plain just to save time what a nightmare there we go trim this one down too and that one will be about ready to go on the other one There we go. Is that one long enough? There. there we go. How to fix it in a jiffy. There we are. Right, so let's put the front one on. There's me saying how easy it is. Well, it's easy to make a mistake, I suppose, when you're trying to prep it ahead of time. There we are, on with that one now, and then on with this one. There's no point in using that one now because it's only half a sunflower. I'd rather have no sunflower than half a sunflower. So there we are, and that's on there. So that's basically your body bag decorated. All right, press it down, make sure it don't fall off. So that's your body bag, all decorated up. And now we need to make one of these to put inside okay so for those what we have is we've got a six and a half inch we need two lots of these don't forget one for each side so we've got a six and a half inch by six and a half inch piece of black card we've got a six and a quarter inch by six and a quarter inch piece of yellow again you don't need to use this if you don't want to Pop that on, we can stick this together now. Nice border all the way around it. Okay. And then what we need to do is have a six inch by six inch piece, which we are going to use Julie's um, circle dies. And it's the large one and what I'm going to do is cut I put the circle on with a bit of tape and I'm just going to cut that out the middle so this makes the aperture that you can see your photograph behind okay so pop it through give it a cut As you can see, it cuts out the circle plus a little frame. We don't need the frame. You can keep that for a different project. That little frame we don't need. We just need the aperture. Okay. And now what we're going to do is stamp onto the inside panel, which is this one here. This is the one that's going to slide in and out. Okay. 
So the easiest way I've found to do this is to pop the panel on and attach the little um, tab. And how I've made that, that's the bit that's going to pull it in and out, is I've just used a punch. But if you don't have a punch, you can just cut yourself a rectangle um, and pop, you know, fold it in half, glue it and pop it on. So I'm going to pop it on the edge of here so I know roughly where I'm going to stamp my um, sunflower in the middle of it. So you can measure it if you want, you can do it by eye if you want, I'm just going to do it by eye and pop it on here. Make sure it's down and glued on and then I'm going to put this thing I'm going to line it up because I'm going to use some foam tape here around the edge. So I want to make sure that I've got enough room around the edge to put the foam tape on. And when you have it kind of lined up, kind of push it to the edge a little so that this black line, this black thing lines up. Turn it over and just pop a magnet on it ready. To position your stamp, you're going to kind of do it like that and your stamp is going to go in the middle, right? And that's where we're going to stamp that one. Again with the black ink, I'm using Versafine ink, um, just so it pops a lot. It's, it's like a proper contrast against the yellow. So, there we go. Press it down. Make sure you've got the middle because there's so many lovely details in the middle. Yeah, it's come up beautifully. Yeah. Give your stamp a wipe and then you can remove this. And that's that little panel done. Okay. So this now I'm going to leave to dry. And on the edge of this one, I'm going to put the foam tape. Now, the only foam tape I had was the black stuff. So uh, I'm going to use the black one. It's just thin foam tape. Okay, and you only want to put it on three sides. Okay, because obviously you need one side to be able to slide your photo mat in and out. So one, two, three. This is not the best foam tape in the world. This is uh, it's quite old. I hardly use black foam tape. And you'll see, then you give yourself enough room to be able to slide this panel in and out. So, remove the back. Get it ready to put on your project. Yeah, here we go. It takes you longer to remove the back of the foam tape than it does to make the project most of the time. So this is the trouble with this foam tape, isn't it? Once it gets old, the backs tend to stick really bad, come off in bits. So as I said, I've got one there, one ready made. So let's bring in the project, stick it in. So what we want is one to go on top of this yellow piece. So glue this down first in the middle, yellow and black piece. This is your mat and layer for it. I want to make sure this is proper glued. Don't want it to fall off. So pop your mat on. Do it by eye, give it a nice little border all the way around. And then we can pop this one on as well. So we want the pull out part to come out from this side on the right. I'll move it over a bit so you can see it. I'm just going to have to stand up and look above the camera. So that's going to go on that one. There you go. And then this one, once that's all stuck down, will slide in there. Okay. And then you've got this one. So you've got to make sure that this one 
pull out comes from this side. Oh, I've, meant, I've got to do something. Do you know what? It's not going well today for me, is it, guys? I'll be able to do it, no problem. It must be because it's Easter. So I've got a punch. And what I want to do is punch a little sort of semicircle in there. I'm hoping I can get it in. Yeah, I can. There you go. So you can see, I've put a mark across there to measure about halfway. And I'm just going to pop that out. Yeah, now I can stick it back down. Oh gosh, you'll have to forgive me. That's because of the, I'm craving chocolate. I haven't had any chocolate yet. <laughs> so pop it on again. There we go. Now we're cooking, I guess. How many mistakes can you make in one live? Right, there we are. It's back. It's on. Pop it in. Now you can see the little black edge. So this side now, same thing. I have already done the edge on that one. And then you can kind of line it up with that one across there by eye in the middle would be good. Pop it down and then you've got your panel to pop in this side as well. In between the two. So not much left to do now really to be honest. So there's your little project and now all we need to do I'm not loving that I haven't got a picture on there, but there you go. Um, is make the wrap that goes around the thing. So again, I've cut this out of A3. And it was literally the whole length of an A3. But if you don't have A3, just get a couple of, sheet, a couple of pieces of uh, A4 and join them together in the middle. Now this measures 16 and a half inches. Okay? So if you did... Um, two lengths of A4 and um, joined them in the middle, that would work. And it's got, it's two and three quarter inches um, wide. So up to you, you can do it wider than that, you can do it narrower than that, you don't have to put one on at all, you can put a bit of Velcro on there and stick it down. You know, you don't have to go and do a belly band. So easiest way to do this, I find, is to pop it on Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do make hiccups, let them make lots of hiccups, yeah, you're probably right, it stops you making them, doesn't it? Fold your bag down and bring this around, but don't bring it around too tight, because you do want this belly band to slide on and off, okay? So I tend to just do a little crease where I want it to be, okay? And the same with this side, not too tight, and as you can see, it doesn't quite meet, well that's okay. That's perfectly okay, because we're going to put a piece across the top of it to join it up, okay? So just kind of make sure that you haven't done it too tight and it's moving. There we are. You can always move it down a bit if you wish. You just want it to keep it together, really. So we've got a gap there now. So all I've done is cut a piece of black card, two and three quarter inches, same width, same width as the belly band, by eight and a quarter, and that will fit across there, okay? So it joins on, it joins on nicely to the front of that one. All right, so I'm going to take it off to join it and I'm going to proper crease these now with the bone folder so that they're straight, okay? And you just hope that all your measurements have worked out. And you were cutting them this time because obviously as we've seen, they haven't so far. So you just glue that onto the front of there. So glue these flappy bits and then you can put it on and join it up. Um, any questions while I'm just doing this? Any questions at all? As I said, it looks much harder than it, than it actually is to make. And they're lovely little gifts. Okay, so line it up, stick it on the front. Any bits of glue that you've overshot, remove you are going to put a panel on this on the top to decorate it as well and before you go any further I hope that it will go back around your bag and that I didn't crease it too tight <laughs> which I obviously did oh my goodness me I think I'm just going to wait until it's glued down tight for that 
Okay, so from panel, I've took two of Julie's sunflowers and a piece of the yellow, which is where you could see it come out from before. Uh, that's going to be the front bit. And this one is just a piece of um, yellow, again, to match right the way through and coordinate, and a piece of white on top. Okay, we don't need to stamp on this, but you can if you wish. Stamp on it and not bother putting in the other bit on. But all that's going to happen with this is this is going to get glued on. They've just been attached, matte and layered. This is going to just be glued on the front. Again, this part is up to you. You don't have to do this. And you certainly don't have to do as much stamping if you don't want to. This is on there. And then we're going to put a black circle, which is from Julie's circle dies. There's a right way and a wrong way. As you can see the little perforations around the side. So that's on there. Then goes the yellow one. On the top. There we go. And then I've cut two. I've stamped and cut two. I'm going to put the first one on a hole, as such. Okay. And then the second one, I'm just going to, here and there, I'm going to cut in to some of the petals and remove some of the back petals. And then that will give your sunflower some dimension. How many you take out, up to you. Um, which particular ones you take out doesn't matter as long as you can take a few out and then you can you can really get some dimension on them but each petal I do like to cut into even if I'm not taking anything off the back you know because you you kind of get more oomph with it then it lifts up more or just do a few of them up to you again your project change it how you wish this would be nice with any of Julie's stamps actually. Imagine that all the different ones you could make as the flowers. Right. Hi Sonia. Happy Easter from Australia. Wow, that's amazing. And what time is it there? Is it night time? I don't know. I can never work these things out. So we've got a bit of dimension on that now. And then this one just gets glued on the top of there. Okay? like that. Now I'm not going to try and put this back on until it's dried because it'll fall to pieces and then that'll be another embarrassment. So this is this is it. How it's done. Oh there you go. So you've got your wrap, you've got your frame. Now I've got two of these now. I don't really need two of these. So what I'll do is everybody who watches it I'll pick a random somebody and um, I'll send you one out. You just send me your address, I'll PM you and I'll send you the one, one of them out. Okay, so here we go. That's it. And that's how you do it. And I'll just pop this dried wrap around this thing just to show that it fits. And that one will fit once it's dried. So I shall send you this one out. Now, a little bit of housekeeping before I go. Um, Dragon, to get any of the Julie Hickey stuff, stash, stamps and everything I've used, um, that is at the top of the Crafty Friends of Julie Hickey and the Julie Hickey Designs, there's a list of stockists. But the stockists are Dragon's Papercraft, um, and that's Hazel and Paul. Now, Hazel's got a sale on, as you know, till three o'clock today. A brilliant sale, including some of Julie Hickey design stuff. So uh, go check that one out. There's Wow Emboss and Powder UK, The Mulberry Bush, Let's Create, Maximum Crafts, Craft Bliss, Hixie Soft Crafts and Into Crafts. Um, in the USA, we've got Simon Says Craft. And in Australia, we've got J Craft. Um, the other thing is there's, there's a spring challenge running on the Crafty Friends of Julie Hickey. Um, you have to make a, uh, a project, any project, using Julie's um, products and 
it's on till the 11th of May. You've got till the 11th of May to put your pictures on of your projects that you've made. But you must put your pictures in the Spring Challenge album. Um, and then you can win some goodies from Julie and the design team. Some of the projects. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Really enjoyed the live. <laughs> I can honestly say I've made more mistakes on this one than I have in any, but there you go, I'm only human. And that will stop you making them. So have a good rest of the Easter holiday. Um, next live from me will be a fortnight tomorrow, and I will be making probably the um, the little station recess. So have a lovely day, and thank you very much for joining me. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs>